Hello, my name is Marko Mäkihäkola. I'm the forest director in the Finnish Farmers and Forest Owners Union, but I'm also forest owner by myself. Uh, just now we are located in, in, in Finnish forest logging site. Uh, Finland we have about 600,000 family forest owners and they make up to 150,000 wood sales yearly. And this site is being one of them. When talking about deforestation, after felling, our forest law says that new forest must be growing after harvesting. So we are therefore 100% sure that forest in Finland does not cause deforestation. New heavy regulation extending all the way to the small forest owners seems unreasonable. It feels particularly bad that people in Brussels didn't want to listen to the views of practical forestry during the preparation of regulation. Uh, the challenge is increased by the fact that wood from each felling site goes to the many different locations according to best, valued, uh, best added value. Uh, from this site, eight different uh, timber types are felled. Fine pulp wood goes to pulp mill, spruce sawlock to sawmill, and so on. In other words, timber sales in, one, in private forests would result to one million uh, tree flows from forest to industry. And all those chains should be monitoring in, in every year. In addition, for example, for sawmilling, the residues are going to other places. Uh, spruce sawlocks coming uh, wood chips, uh, and they are going to the pulp mill. And, and, and uh, that makes the number of, of tracking needs uh, huge and almost impossible. Uh, in this site also, it's good to remember that also nature values are always taken care of when you harvest, harvest your forest. Uh, it's clear that the extension, the extra time uh, for implementation of deforestation regulation is needed. And I really hope that that will, will happen. Uh, in Finland, the forest information systems between different, different actors must work together and automatically. Uh, I'm not sure if the one year extra time for implementation of this regulation if, is enough, but we will try our, our best. Uh, to understand the challenge of the system, it's also good to be aware of the transportation of wood. From this site, we are collecting eight different types of wood. For example, pine pulp wood may be so uh, little from amount that it's not fulfilling the track which is taking the wood away from the forest. So the truck the, um, is collecting wood from many different forest owners. And that means that there, may, there might be already six, uh, there are wood from six different forest owners in the same truck, in the same load. And then uh, this wood will be transported to terminal, quite often next to the railway. And, and there might be hundreds of forest owners pine pulp wood in the same terminal. So you can understand that it's, it's, it's quite difficult to know from e which forest, especially this wood, is coming from. And then you take this, this uh, wood by trains, and same, in the same train there might, might be hundreds of, of, of forest owners' wood. And then the wood goes to, to the path mill, and you put those trees together with chips, wood chips, for example, from sawmilling industry. And it's impossible to know the exact location where the wood is coming from. Uh, also, the previous um, products from the chain can also be used in next products. So, chips from sawmill industry turns up, up to be uh, pulp and paper. And then when, when, you, when you are mixing, for, you, for example, everybody knows copy paper, A4. When you are producing A4 copy paper, you are perhaps mixing the pulp from three different pulp mills. So you can understand, wood uh, from forest to the truck, to the rain, uh, to the terminal, and then mixing the final product. So it's 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 quite quite huge amount of different wood flows. All problems, or majority of the problems with this regulation, could have been avoided by a wiser regulation or by ensuring how the legislation in different countries is, is working. In Finland, we already have quite well functioning system. Uh, for sustainable origin and, and reporting, and there is no need to have this kind of huge new uh, legislative burden. 
during implementation of this regulation, uh, we must be sure that existing systems can fulfill the requir requirements of legislation. In addition to that, uh, private forest owners are quite often quite small forest forest owners, and uh, they should not have any extra burden or heavy reporting uh, obligations. Even though the changes of legislation are needed, it's now necessary to ensure that implementation is extended, so we get extra time for, for implementation. During this extension, the Commission is expected to provide information uh, on which countries are at high risk in terms of deforestation, for example. Uh, I therefore appeal, appeal to the decision makers uh, to accept this extension. At the same time, of course, it would be great to, if everyone very finally understands the challenges related to the content of this regulation, and perhaps during coming years we understand what kind of regulation we should have or not should have for deforestation. Thank you.